What is up, everybody? Brandon Godola here with three of my favorite bets for this week's BMW Championship over at FanDuel Sportsbook. I like Rory McIlroy again this week. I know he missed the cut a week ago, lost two and a half strokes off the tee, but of the four strokes gained stats off the tee is the most predictive McIlroy's gained. Strokes off the tee in 80% of his past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National. So you expect that to bounce back. Speaking of bouncing back, lost strokes putting as well, but he's 11th on tour this season. The putting numbers have been good for Rory on the year. Don't have a whole lot of information on Wilmington, um, but we do know from the scorecard that there are six or seven sort of abnormally long holes, including two par fives over 630 yards on the back nine. Uh, distance is going to matter, irons are going to matter, and that's kind of a setup for Rory McIlroy anytime we get it. I also like Xander Shoffley this week. We, we don't probably don't really think of Xander as being a long hitter, but he's long enough. Uh, 60th percentile in driving distance gained over the past 50 rounds, which obviously is above field average. And there's a difference between being short, being super long, and being somewhere in the middle, you know, at or above average. And that's where Xander is, and that's totally fine uh, because he's also got 85th percentile iron play. He's one of the best putters on the planet. He's good on bent grass as well. And he has three no-cut wins in his career on the PGA Tour, plus a total score uh, tour championship win, if you if you want to count that. So uh, the high floor, the high ceiling from his good tee to green play and putting through that all-around game is really what makes Xander stand out in no-cut events. I also like Max Homa uh, this week. If you think of golfers who are long off the tee, have good irons, and have good putting, it's a pretty narrow list because those are all three Really great traits to have, but Homa fits that. Uh, he's got 76th percentile driving distance, uh, a nice 69th percentile score in long-term iron play, 87th percentile in long-term putting. He won at Riviera in 2021, kind of proving he can do some damage in tough fields. And frankly, he's an upside player. He's one of seven golfers in this field to have an 80th percentile week or a spike week in tee to green play in at least 50% of his events over the past year and in 33% of his putting. So half the, the events tee to green, a third in putting. And the other six golfers who fit those, they're all 27 to one or shorter. Uh, I like Homa as an outright, but also top 10 and top 20 as well for this week. That'll do it for my favorite bets for the BMW Championship. Best of luck this week. Let's hit a winner.